Warning, listening to Mac Daily can make you think. Question reality and take responsibility for your own life. Listener discretion is advised. How's it going, Internet? This is Mac Daily coming to you live from FEMA District 5, deep in the heart of middle of nowhere, Ohio, and fresh off of my week-long suspension from YouTube for putting out a video that had all of 80 views before they pulled it from the Internet. And so, uh, obviously, the content touched a nerve, and uh, that's what I want to get into today. Now, I've heard a lot of different people's 9-11 videos today, obviously, and I've made quite a few in the past on different anniversaries. Today is the 19th anniversary. Ironically, as we have COVID-19 going on, and it's the six-month anniversary of COVID-19. Six months is about 25 weeks, and I've been keeping track um, because I'm a skeptical essential worker. I've been documenting this from the beginning. The worldwide pandemic was declared on March 11th. 311. So that makes today the six month anniversary. In six months, that's 25 weeks. And with the inverse of 25, it's 52 days to the election from today as well. A lot of strange coincidences with 2019, 2020, and 2021. I believe that time period is probably the most craziest time period ever in the history of the planet. And so, you know, 19 years ago was 9 11, and the truth community the authorities, various people that that should take it upon themselves to get the truth out there. We failed. We failed miserably. It's been 19 years and nothing has been done to push the mainstream to cover 9-11 in a realistic way. They still spout the same bullshit nonsense that they did 19 years ago. We we let 9-11 slip through our fingers and that was a great opportunity to do a lot of things. And supposedly, After 9-11, the NSA was created, and they've been collecting a lot of data on people. A lot of people were nervous about that. And now with Q, supposedly we're in control of the information. We're using it to blackmail all these people. And even though they're cannibal pedophiles, we're going to let them cut deals with us. And that's, that's our justice. That's what we're doing today, supposedly. We can't even confirm that. Only thing we can confirm is that we're in the midst of an even bigger fraud than 9-11, and that is COVID-19. Now, my video was pulled because... And I don't have the link in front of me or the video in front of me. As a matter of fact, it's deleted. Um, but the video was titled something along the lines of from 9-11 to COVID-19 to the George Floyd riots. All of these events are various forms of escalating fraud. And I've heard a lot of different banned people like Gavin McInnes, Alex Jones, Owen Benjamin, to name a few, all repeat kind of the same sentiments in the past weeks since I was banned from YouTube about uh, fraud and about how this is all fraud. Now, those events all leak into what's coming, the biggest, you know, what could be the biggest fraud of all, and that is the election. I think every election is wrought with fraud. But, you know, I think this one is going to take the cake as far as elections go. And hey, maybe this will be the last one if we're lucky. And so they pulled my video for connecting the dots between, as I said, various forms of escalating fraud. The public didn't hold the perpetrators feed to the fire and they were obvious perpetrators. And so the next time they had a chance to pull one over on the public, on their constituents, on the voting base, on the people that pay for everything in this planet, they did it. Mass shootings, all these different riots, fires, wars, outbreaks, pandemics, it's all fraud. It's all bullshit. It's all been fixed and rigged to some capacity. Even if that means that the event was real and they let it happen in order to get a reaction and, you know, the ends justify the means, right? 9-11 didn't have to necessarily be an inside job, although I believe there was, you know, criminal elements within our own government that helped set it up or at least turned a blind eye. You know, they got some prior knowledge. They got prior warnings. That's, that's on record. They could have said, let it happen. Then we can get TSA. We can get the NSA. We can get the Patriot Act, the NDAA everything that brings us to today and i mean it's crazy everyone says never forget <laughs> never forget and so right after that happened we elected a gay muslim pedophile lawyer with multiple names multiple social security numbers multiple sexualities multiple religions i mean he was everything to everybody but he was no one to me so we elected a muslim after 911 twice And we fast forward to today, to Trump, right after that Muslim. And now everyone hates the police that they loved on 9-11, remember? Everyone hates firefighters that they loved on 9-11, remember? 
And we hate first responders now attacking them all over the country. And not to mention, everyone wears hijabs on their face now. So, you know, I think Osama bin Laden, even though he supposedly got a a water burial and they just threw his ass in the water. Hey, great. Oh, so much for disclosure in a, in a court case. No, just throw him in the ocean. That's, that's cool. And so he won. The terrorist won. And ISIS might be dead and gone, but there are new terrorist groups all around us. Way closer than ISIS ever could have came. They're in every city. Domestic terrorists. So... It's amazing to see where we've come in really just a blink of an eye, which is almost two decades. It's unbelievable. Everywhere I go, 99% of the people are wearing masks still. I mean, I remember just a couple of weeks ago, the CDC came out with a story that said 94% of the deaths were void because they had comorbidities. And so that left 9,201 deaths, less than 10,000. But that number struck me because if you rearrange it, it's two. 2019. Amazing, right? Wow. 2019, 2020, 2021. That's the time period. That's the three days of darkness, right? 9-11 plus 2001 is 2021. And so never forget, indeed, never forget that 9-11 happened on your watch, on my watch, and all these people skated. And they were allowed to plot and plan their next move. And never forget that the greatest hoax since 9-11, COVID-19, was perpetrated on your watch, on my watch. Six months to the day, on the anniversary of 19 years to the day, that prove that the terrorists won. And I don't remember seeing any armies invading These past six months and these past 19 years to the day prove the lawyer world order that the pen is indeed mightier than the sword. And that's it for today, Internet. Until next time, this has been Mac to Illy. Let's go back to Jennifer Oberstein, who was talking to a second ago. Jennifer, did you see this happen? Hello? Did Jennifer? you just see this happen, Jennifer? Matt, I, I, I've never seen any. It looks like a movie. I saw a large plane, like a jet, going immediately, heading directly into the World Trade Center. It, it, it just flew into it, into the, into the other tower, coming from south to north. I watched the plane fly into the World Trade Center. It was a jet. It was a very large plane. It was going south. so shocking of course to everybody watching clouds of smoke billowing from the top of that building 110 stories high and as you can see the pl- i don't know you just saw the plane flying there's another fly. explosion another plane we just saw a plane flying by waiting for it to come out of the other side of that building and it didn't let's listen to our colleagues from new york to the second tower this raises this has to be deliberate folks well, that would begin to say that, yeah. We just saw on live television as a second plane flew into the second tower of the World Trade Center. No matter what you do, 9-11 truth. No matter what you say, 